Africa finds India a close partner in its endeavor to overcome challenges of poverty and unemployment. New Delhi's key focus in the African continent is on skill and capacity building initiatives, healthcare, agriculture, maritime security, and the digital revolution. At the recently concluded 17th CII Exum Bank Conclave on India-Africa Growth Partnership, emphasis was laid on the enhanced role of India in building a resilient Africa. 40 high-level ministers from 17 African countries participated in the two-day summit. Indian Commerce Minister Piyush Goyal emphasized that India and Africa can jointly work together to bring effective solutions in areas like defense, drinking water, healthcare, and renewable energy. Together we can solve several global issues and I'm sure the engagement that CII and Exim Bank have put together along with uh, all the African nations will certainly play a very critical role in our shared future and prosperity. Economically, India is Africa's fourth largest partner. Merchandise trade between the two grew 34% to 89 billion USD in 2021 to 2022, from 67 billion USD in 2019 to 2020. From 2003 onwards, India began to use concessional lines of credit as one of its key development partnership instruments to fund the construction of railway lines, electrification and irrigation projects, and farm mechanization projects, among others. To date, lines of credit worth 12.26 billion USD have been extended to African countries, thus making it the second largest recipient of India's concessional loans. The lines of credit help create new markets for Indian companies, foster export growth, and contribute to the country's image abroad. India has a very specific place in our heads and in our hearts as well. So in the case of Gabon, for instance, uh, we've had more than two billion uh, private direct investments from Indians to Gabon already. We have a special economic zone uh, in Gabon as well. We have 86 companies inside of which 55 are from India. While India exports around 40 billion USD worth of goods, it also imports about 49 billion USD worth of goods from various African countries. 38 African nations have benefited from India's duty-free tariff preference scheme, which provides duty-free access to 98.2% of India's total tariff lines. While China is using debt trap policies to gain influence in the global market, the image of India as a reliable investment partner is growing worldwide, including in the African continent. Accomplishing a new milestone in its fight against the COVID-19 pandemic, India recently achieved the remarkable feat of administering 2 billion vaccine doses. Soon after its launch in January last year, the Indian vaccination drive quickly accelerated, now averaging around 3.7 million jabs per day since the first shot was administered. As per the Indian Health Ministry, 90% of Indian adults are fully vaccinated, while 98% of adults have received at least one dose. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi hailed the integrated efforts of all who have been relentlessly endeavouring to make India's vaccination drive a success. Not waiting for other countries to assist amidst the crisis, India developed its own highly effective vaccine and also domestically manufactured other vaccines in order to vaccinate its vast population as quickly as possible. Government initiatives including awareness campaigns and providing special arrangements for immunocompromised and the elderly further strengthened its efforts. This is a magnificent milestone, magnificent milestone for India, a magnificent milestone for the world because we have vaccinated 200, given 200 crore doses to the people of India. And remember, we have achieved this using our own vaccines. We have been atmanir. The government of India has not just succeeded at vaccinating nearly all its adult population, 
but has also sent as many as 230 million doses to other countries, with a special focus on its neighboring countries. The vaccines were given under both the Global Vaccine Access Program, COVAX, and India's own outreach effort, Vaccine Metri. It was the Indian push along with a handful of other countries that led the WTO to come to a consensus on waiving the patent on vaccine manufacturing. People world over have lauded Indian efforts for successfully mitigating the virus spread. Microsoft co-founder and philanthropist Bill Gates wrote a special message to Prime Minister Narendra Modi and expressed gratitude on behalf of the global community. The Government of India has also launched a free booster vaccination program for 75 days as part of its Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav, the Independence Festival. People are turning up in huge numbers for the same. It's completely safe, completely healthy procedure. You should come forward, you should come forward, and please this opportunity ka zarur fayda uthaiye, kyunki free mein government provide kar rahi hai 70 days, 75 days ka joh program hai, jitne zada se zada log bahar nikal ke, aur iska opportunity ka fayda utha sake uthaiye. Nearly two and a half years after the World Health Organization declared COVID-19 as a pandemic, India has emerged as a global leader in the continued fight against the pandemic. India has not just lived up to the hype of the pharmacy of the world, but has also provided able leadership to others, including the developed countries. This is just another manifestation of the new brand India, 